Is there any sort of does with money, anything? What do we say? Nazdarovia. To your health. Nazdarovia. That's not bad. We need to clarify that you never actually were a janitor, right? Well, I'm still janitor in my gym. I actually yeah, you are. Mopping the floor. That's, <laughs> true. That's the floor. true. As you should. But uh, yeah, the nickname comes out from uh, when I went to the tournament in Siberia, mm -hmm. and I went right from a uh, straight from the military. I don't really have nice clothes or anything. Yeah. And American team was working out, making weight uh, before us, and it was like sweating and stuff. So I just get the rag and just kind of wipe it out. <laughs> Right. And there were big shots like Kevin Jackson and Royce Alger. They were actually Kevin Jackson won Olympics a few months after okay. that. And I'm like, I don't care. I just get out of my unit. I just want to kick some ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I went next day and just beat all of them. I won the whole tournament. Nice. And the coaches uh, and the Mark Homan actually wanted to give me a nickname. They were make fun of those guys. They're like, you guys lost to Russian gender. <laughs> He's not even work. He's not even a wrestler. He just works here. <laughs> There's a great mystique about guys like you, and that's probably a little bit because of the cultural history of you know, the Cold War or whatever, but there's this great mystique that you guys are quiet assassins, you know, you don't talk as much, you know, especially if you see Fedor when he comes out for his fights, and I think it's kind of fun. I don't know how much you feel that, but I feel that that's... That's a general consensus on what Russian fighters are like. Well, it may be, maybe not, but even back in, I, I met the Cold War times, and I was there in Russia at the mm -hmm. time. The thing is, was not to show your feelings. Be respectful to a person, to opponent, doesn't matter what. So cockiness was definitely not allowed. And so sometimes when you come, people take it for cockiness, but no, the Russian people never talk about other people bad or something like that. You can see, like you said, Fyodor, he's very calm. He's doesn't want to show his love to his opponent, but right. <laughs> right. <laughs> he's right. kind of wrong. Right. <laughs> but the same way, he's not want to disrespect them, jumps out, F you, F you. Right. So, you know, just stay calm and stay middle, and that's the way we would race, pretty much. Do you think that you can keep going for a while? Good question, and I was quitting many, many times. Oh, were you? <laughs> I was retired so many times. But again, right now, it's the best time to be in MMA, I think, because time changing, and I saw MMA before. Like you said, the kids coming out of the college right now, they see what's right now. They didn't see what was happening before. I can see the difference. And right now, I've been quitting, not just because I'm tired of it, because I'm old. I was quitting because perspective of society was different. I was going to PTA meeting with my son, and I couldn't say my profession. I'm a fighter, and right. I'm like, ooh, who are you? Right. You know, right. you're one of those, you know? Right. I'm like, no. <laughs> no, I'm a good and guy. And a few years later, the principal of the school would come into my gym and like, hey, why didn't you shake my hand? And like all celebrity all of a sudden yeah. because it become popular. Right. I'm like, where were you before, you know? for fun when you're not training what kinds of things do you do for fun well i already told you eating is my eating thing. eating is a stop hobby which eating i can totally drinking. get on board with and uh cooking i like cook okay then other things play golf i like golf see i love to golf too <laughs> We might have to work something out sometime. Sometimes you spend hours and hours just eating, especially on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> or it's an hour You can come and see on my, on my Sunday, I just put it all the table, I just eat nice and slow, watch the cowboy movies, that's my Sunday. <laughs> cowboy movies, really? John Wayne or, or more recent cowboy movies? No, Brokeback both of them. Mountain. I like John Wayne and uh, <laughs> I like Dick Clint Eastwood, yeah. all the you know, oldies, but I like also, you know, good old ones, you know, new ones. I'm more a quieter guy and just, you know, kind of read books. Shoot guns, and I like I told you earlier, I'm the happiest person. Just my gun on top of the mountain, nobody around. That's I'm happy with myself, and there's no lies, you know. <laughs> the gun on top of the mountain to make sure there's no other people yeah. around. By the way, what is your favorite uh, gun? What do you oh. like? I like everything. I got my 44 Magnum just now in the Smith and Wesson. Yeah. Clean Eastwood style. Right <laughs> after my fight, I got one, and it's really good. But like, it just—it's not the gun gun that you shoot. It's more history. Yeah. Of, it. of course, I got Glock. I got AK, and I got Russian Mosin from World War II. Actually, it's a—it's a history thing. And actually, the thing is, it shoots pretty accurate. Really? Yeah. 200 yards, you can shoot somebody in the eye. <laughs> but it's not like I want to. But I could, you know. But you could, <laughs> if you needed to. Dana White, remember that next time you do it in contract <laughs> negotiations. He could nail you from 200 yards away. <laughs>